Hi, I'm Coach Bobby Hosea, and welcome to my Big Hits High Intensity Tackle Training Camp, where we bring intelligence to the game by combining Zenith's technology for the enlightened warrior with our technique to make sure the empowered warrior. It takes two, the technology and know-how. You know, you've heard a lot about brain injuries in tackle football, and football is a great game, but it can be dangerous if you don't play it properly and play it intelligently. We play with our mind, not with our head. What you're going to learn today is how to get a player prepared to keep his head out of the collision. It takes exercise, it takes strength, it takes endurance, it takes understanding how your body works. The rules of the game says you can't hit with your head. The physics you must know. Certain types of physical movement will lead directly to head, head injury. So what you're going to see is how the hips work in conjunction with the head and the arms. How they keep the head out of the tackle. We're going to go through a series of drills to show you just how to do that to keep football safe and fun and productive for you and your teammates. What we do is we start off getting ourselves in ready position. I honor the Marine Corps. Some of you may know or may not know that I'm an actor by trade. That's what I do for a living and I've played a lot of Marines in my acting career and I honor the Marine Corps. Without the Marine Corps there would not be a United States of America. So we always say we are Marines without M16. We have a mission and that mission is to stop the ball carriers forward progress. Okay? So we start out in attention. We want to get our feet and shoulder width apart. So we say feet Defender puts his feet shoulder width apart. Then we say wings. We raise our hands, palms up as high as we can without leaning forward. Okay, and then we say sink. And they bend the knees. They keep the hands high. What this does, it forces an inward curve of the spine. We're going to turn him sideways in a second. Then we say drop the hands, drop. And now he's in a ready position. We're going to do this again from the side so you can see what it does. It puts an inward arch. We call it a power arch in the back. Okay, and which forces the head up. So now we're going to turn to the side, Eric and standing straight up in ready position again. Well, I mean, uh, uh, Marines, attention position. Okay, feet, wings, sink, drop. Okay, now, you see that body? See that back? The butt is up, but the knees are bent. The chin is up, the eyes are up. This, you got an inward curve of the spine. This is called, a, you steal your spine. This is very important. We go from there to what we call hip position. Okay, on hip position, I'm gonna say hit, you're gonna go to hip position. Hip. Boom. Front foot on the outside of the chin, back foot directly under the butt. Almost like you're coming out of the blocks in a 100 meter dash, 100 yard dash in my day. Okay, this is what you call hip position. After the ball is snapped, the defender runs to the ball carrier full speed to get to the ball carrier. But the ball carrier does not want to be stopped. Remember, our mission is to stop his forward progress. So we have to come under control. We don't know if he's going to go left or right or is he going to drop his shoulder pads on us. We're making him drop his shoulder pads or go left or right. We're dictating what the ball carrier does, so we're not surprised by it. So we have to be in ready position and we have to break down. Okay, so we get in ready position, we're going to talk about buzzing the feet. How you come under control. You want your entire foot on the ground, flat footed. We get down in ready position, Eric, and you want your toes slightly out. We call this get penguin with it. We get, get penguin with it. Feet, toes are going to get slightly out, you're going to be the entire foot on the ground. Balls of the feet, arch, heel, digging into the ground. He's going to buzz to that first disc and he's going to step to the second disc. On hit, set, hit. Stop. Now he's in hit position. If you notice, the back foot is directly under the butt. The front foot on the outside of the chin. The waist is still at a 45 degree angle, just like he was in ready position. Okay, now watch him. He's gonna rip out of that. Hit, rip, boom, boom. Okay, now that's what he does. You rip the hips, you explode the hips. You rip those arms, your hips are gonna come. The arms accelerate the hips, the hips control the head. We don't wrap, see that's a bad word. We all say it as coaches, except me. We gotta eliminate that from our vocabulary because wrapping, wrapping causes the hips to go back. Ripping causes the hips to come forward. We wanna rip, okay? All right, we're gonna take it to the next level now. All our drills, we start out as if the ball had already been snapped. So we, we, uh, we borrow names from movies, okay? The Silver Surfer, Fantastic Four. So we like the Silver Surfer stance, like he's already taken off. So that's where we start. We start our defenders in Silver Surfer, and we, we say, in your mind's eye, you imagine, you see the ball carry. You always see the ball carry in your mind's eye. So get ready, Eric. Eric's going to get ready. You see the ball carry coming at him. He's in Silver Surfer. So we run what we call DBP, defensive body posture. Our eyes are below the ball carrier's face mask at all times. When, when he dips his shoulders, we're going to step in the imaginary hole and always be lower than the ball carrier. Eric's going to take off. He's going to buzz and get in the hit position we did originally. Sit. Good. Relax. Okay? That is part of the progression. That's what we do. We build from that. We start off very slow. That's on our feet. We're on our feet. Now, 
we're going to get to the part where we actually deliver a blow. That's putting ourselves in our body in the optimum position to deliver a blow to the ball carrier. Okay, now we're going to move to the next part where we show you how to deliver a blow. Okay, what we want to do is we want to teach the players how their hips control their head. So we start off very simple. We lay a step over bag on the ground. The defender sits up straight on his knees. You tell him to raise his hands. Reach, 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 reach. Sink, 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 sink. Now he's back down in optimum hip position again, his upper torso. Then we say lay him down, put your hands on your back, interlock your fingers, and now you're gonna learn how your hips control your head. On hit, he's gonna explode his hips up. Hip, boom, boom. This establishes where the head goes. The very first drill, you realize where your head goes. It's not to the side, it's not down. Eyes to the sky every time the hips control the head. Up. No matter how, what kind of tackle it is, angle tackle left, angle tackle right, or fill in the lane and, and a form tackle, the head is constantly going directly up because the hips are coming forward. Okay? All right. And so now we elevate it to there. So we'll be back down there again. Now this time, we're going to, now we, now we progress to show you what the arms do by incorporating the arms into the rip. They accelerate the hips and they pull the head away from, up and away from the ball carrier more rapidly. Okay, here we go. Reach, 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 reach. Sink, 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 sink. Now you're not going to lay him down. You're going to rip and shoot. Hup, boom, boom, very nice. Okay, you saw the acceleration. The arms, whoom, by ripping the arms, they bring the hips. Okay, we hit with our legs. So the deeper the bend in the knees, the farther those legs are going to travel. And the legs are going to pick up speed. And speed equals power. And you deliver that power with your shoulders. You call it strike plate. Shoulder tip to shoulder tip, just under the chin. Okay, precision is everything. You'll see what we do. We build, we build, we build, we do everything progressively. So we make everything precise. Okay, we're getting ready position. We have these discs, they're precision. When he steps, that's the, that's the exact distance that we want him to step. We're going to say, stomp! Hup. Boom! Very nice. What this drill is called, Shamu Attaboy. Power arch in the back. Exploding the hips upward. Ripping the pterodactyl, imaginary pterodactyl wings off of the bag and putting them on your own back. Boom! <clears throat> The arms control the hips. If you stop your arms, you stop your hips. You stop your hips, you stop your hit. So you fully rip. It is the drill to explode the hips. Getting in it. Let's do it again, Eric. Stomp! Boom! We say stomp rather than step. Stomp raises your level of intensity. Okay? Step is passive. To stomp! Your drilling increases. And you're able to hit the ball carrier that's running full speed. Matches momentum with your momentum. Good. That's progressing to the full speed drill. You take it from on their knees to full speed. That's what you do. And at the end of the day, that's what you do all the time. Nothing changes. You develop muscle memory and you understand how the body works. It's physics. As simply as that. Physics. Okay, the rules say you can't tackle with any part of the face mask or helmet. Okay, you can't initiate contact. Okay, now, knowing the laws of physics, if you wrap, your hips are going to go back, your head is going to go down, you're going to violate the rules of the game. If you rip and shoot, you're going to play within the rules of the game, and you're going to play safe. That is the enlightened warrior who becomes the empowered warrior. Sit. Good job. Good job. We make the ball carrier do what we want them to do. Cut left, cut right, or drop your shoulder pass. This is a reaction drill. But at the end of the tackle, you see how he delivered the blow. What we worked on down there, ripping and shooting, keeping the waist at a 45 degree angle, keeping the eyes, never dropping the chin, never, never, never dropping the chin, ever. Bending the knees, explode the hips, rip the arms, the knuckles up, elbows down, every time. It is extremely important not to drop the chin. The neck was what they call a lardonic curve. It's a big word. But your neck has a slight curve in it, going like this. When you drop the chin as much as as little as 30 degrees, you take that curve out and blows to the top of the head, crush the vertebrae in the base of your neck. So you never want to drop your chin because, like I said, it takes away the lardonic curve. Never drop your chin. Never drop your chin. Keep your chin up. See what you're hitting at all times. The enlightened warrior. Put your work in. Become the empowered warrior as well. These are the different rip sticks that uh, I created back in 1991. Right here, this height, we call this DBP, the defensive body posture. It keeps the defender's eyes below the face mask of the ball carrier. This represents the face mask of the ball carrier. So when the defender starts out, he starts out with his eyes at the base of this, this bar. 
And so when he buzzes, his feet come closes in on the ball carrier, he will sink naturally, and he doesn't have to bend at the waist. He just steps in an imaginary hole, and he's under the ball carrier's pads. And lifts and rips and shoots and picks him up off the ground. That's how you make a tackle. But it's very important that we run low with our eyes below the face mask of the ball carrier. DBP, defensive body posture. It's very important. Good job. Now we take all the pieces of the puzzle and we put them together. And remember, when you get a piece of the puzzle, you take super glue and you put it on the edge of that piece because you get another piece, you put it together. So now we're going to put all those pieces of the puzzle together. The ready position, the hip position, the silver surfer, the rip and shoot, don't drop the chin, all those things. Step to attack the ball carrier. All those things, we'll put it all together to make a tackle. Thank you for watching. I hope what we just imparted to you enlightened you a bit, and our partnership with Zenith will make you a safer football player this coming season. Uh, if you want to learn more about what we do, visit trainemupacademy.org, and please visit Zenith Academy, too, as well, for more information, more videos, uh, and have a great 2011 season. Remember, we play with our mind, not with our head. You know, sometimes as a coach, you meet youngsters who, if they weren't kids, they'd be, you know, if they were grown men, they'd be your friend or somebody you'd idolize. Well, I, there's a young man I've, been, I've had the privilege to train for five years who ended up being the number one tackler in the state of California with over 210 tackles in one season. Uh, he, and five years ago, he asked his father, was it normal to see lights when you tackle? And his father brought him to me. He hasn't seen lights anymore, and that's Eric Capicillo. Come here, Eric. Outstanding middle linebacker, outside linebacker. But he's the guy you want on the field, backing up your defensive line. Stud right here. Watch him in the future. Eric Kepikel, the best tackle in America. I guarantee it. I challenge you to be better than him.